Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I'm here to bring you another build guide, this time featuring the RX 470. This build is a sub $600 build that has a great performance for now and an awesome upgrade path whenever you feel the need to step up to something better. So without further ado, let's get right into the build. First for the CPU, I chose the i3-6100, a dual core processor at 3.7 GHz with hyper threading, making it in theory a quad core processor. Now yes, this is a dual core, but with hyper threading it allows the CPU to outperform other budget options out there like the FX6300 in single threaded workloads and even multi-threaded applications like video editing. This CPU is very solid on the Skylake platform and offers the option to upgrade to an i7-6700K somewhere down the line if you want to gain some more performance. To cool this thing, I suggest you just stick with the stock cooler. It should do just fine, but if you want to go ahead and pick up an aftermarket cooler, go ahead with the Hyper 212 Evo for only $20. As for the motherboard, I basically looked for the cheapest ATX motherboard I could find on the LGA1151 socket and found this ASRock H170A-X1 motherboard at a price tag of $79. Now you could opt for really any motherboard you want based on your budget, but I opted for a full ATX board so we could take advantage of quad channel memory and have more DIMMs open to upgrade and add more RAM down the line without removing what we already have. This board supports all the Skylake processors and will do the job for this build and any future upgrades you may want to add. As for storage, I went with the same setup that I normally do. Now if you want to save cost, you can drop the SSD from the build, but personally I like to try to squeeze one into any build I do because the performance gains is so worth the additional price of $40 and the Silicon Power S60 is a drive that we chose. It's a very reliable drive and it's been in my main rig for months now and I highly recommend it at $40 for the 120GB model. As for mass storage, I picked up the 1TB WD Black Drive which is faster than the blue drive and will give you faster load times in games. Also, if you just opt for going with the hard drive, this will honestly be the best performance that you can get from a mechanical drive. As for RAM, I chose two 4GB DIMMs of Kingston HyperX Fury Black RAM for a total of 8GB. This RAM at a price tag of $40 would do the job for this build. 8GB is still more than enough for gaming, and with the motherboard we chose, you do have an option to add 8 more GB somewhere down the line if you feel the need to upgrade. As for the graphics card, I chose the RX 470, which at the time I'm making this video hasn't been released yet, so be patient if you plan on getting this build. But the advertised price for this GPU for the 4GB model seems to be around $150, which is a good bang for your buck value at 1080p. You could spend some more money and get the RX 480, but if you do so, I would personally wait for a non-reference card to drop in hopes that it will fix the RX 480's PCI power draw issue. Nonetheless, the RX 470 should be an awesome value and if anything changes upon release, I will update the PC part picker link with a better option. As for the case, I chose the Corsair 200R. It's a solid case at $50, not much else to say about it. If you want something that looks better, you have to understand that there will be a price premium involved. This case isn't anything flashy, but will hold all the parts in nice and snug and will do the job for the build. Last but certainly not least is the power supply. I decided to choose the EVGA 500 watt A plus bronze certified power supply. This power supply has plenty of wattage for our rake here and sports an 80 plus bronze efficiency rating while only costing $44. Altogether, this bill comes out to be a grand total before rebates of $591.94 and after rebates at a price tag of $581.94. That gives you room to buy windows off a site like Kingwin for around $30 and stay close to the price budget of $600. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you guys think. I decided to mix up the build guides and go with gameplay so I can easily organize the rationale behind the build without stuttering on camera. If you like this style, let me know. If not, let me know. I want to know what you all prefer so I can make my content accordingly. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out.